unusual punishment Jimmy. when inflicted on an adult convicted of even the worst felony in the world. So why are we allowing it to happen to children guilty of nothing more than chewing gum? Hi, I'm Paula Flo, Executive Director of The Hitting Stops Here, a campaign for teaching kindness and respect in schools everywhere. On September 22, 2011, New York Representative Carolyn McCarthy introduced H.R. 3027, federal legislation for banning USA school corporal punishment for a second time since doing so on June 28, 2010. Former student of U.S. paddling state Louisiana described the way in which school corporal punishment was administered on herself as a young girl. You can bend over, pull your pants down, he would take my hair and he would wrap it around his hand because he said it was in the way and he will whoop me with the paddle with the other hand. Ada Maurer was the heroine responsible for the third through 24th U.S. states banning school corporal punishment. Her son, Professor Doug Maurer, spoke on her behalf. What I'm saying is not a teacher, not an assistant principal, and this is true almost everywhere today in the United States of America. What we're doing here is to get it through as a federal law so that it will be true all over the United States. I am here today as the voice for a little girl from Georgia who is beaten for being left-handed, for the boy with disabilities who was slapped for not completing a homework assignment. I am the voice of a child who does not have one because they were beaten so severely that their spleen ruptured during the beating and is no longer with us. As a a preteen traveled from South Carolina to the Rayburn building to the office of John Klein to tell him about a beating he received in his principal's office. Teachers are allowed to teach children and, and that's not fair. Because, and I've been hit too. You've been hit too? John Klein is the United States Chairman of Education. So this is the person you want to write a letter to. Tell him that you've been here. Say, say Representative John Klein. Representative John Klein, will you sign? HR. HR. 30. 30. 27. 27. I'll be beating in my principal's office. Mm -hmm. How did that make you feel? Embarrassed. Mm -hmm. Material from The Hitting Stops Here, Parents and Teachers Against Violence in Education, People Opposed to Paddling Students and the White House Boys was delivered to the offices of Education Committee members and to a few other well-known congressional leaders. Simply cannot beat goodness into a person or knowledge either. Jimmy Dunn, longtime president of People Opposed to Paddling Students, traveled from Texas to deliver his message to U.S. Education Committee members. I came to Washington, D.C. this week to support Representative Carolyn McCarthy's House Bill 3027, which will abolish corporal punishment in all U.S. schools. There are currently 19 states that still allow this child abuse in the schools. Robert Straley, a former victim of school corporal punishment, traveled from Florida to deliver figures on this issue. And they are here. 142,000 severely injured, 18,000 
um, permanently disabled and one to two thousand kids die a year from corporal punishment. Now this is in the schools, this is in the home, and what youth facilities that they can monitor. We are excited that USA Today called on the majority of the states to come together and bring USA school beatings to an end, making mainstream media history in delivering such a charge to the American people on this issue. The Huffington Post and other periodicals have published compelling articles on U.S. school terrorism as well. Both the National Lieutenant Governors Association and the National Association of Pediatric Nurse Practitioners, also known as NAPNAP, published statements in 2011 favoring the elimination of corporal punishment in schools. According to the most recent professional and U.S. government reports, the primary targets of USA school beatings are black, Latino, poor white, and Native American school children, and those having special needs. We have been unable to find a single statistic of Asian, Middle Eastern, or wealthy children beaten in USA schools, nor of black male educators striking white girls on their buttocks with wooden boards. For having safe USA schools, support American school children by joining the movement for HR 3027. Learn more on the website message board at thehittingstopshere.com. Click on the link above the photo of Mark Echo, fashion entrepreneur and advocate for justice for our children. Radio shows, events, and information for supporting the movement, such as who to contact and what to say, are posted there regularly. In the left column of the website, you can click on the YouTube link where you can listen to messages from Michael J. Murphy, celebrity filmmaker of What in the World Are They Spraying, and other important speakers on this issue. See also links to Twitter, Facebook, and America Speaks Blog Talk Radio. The Hitting Stops Here will be visiting U.S. Education Committee member Macy Hirano's office and is planning sign-holding events at the Hawaii State Capitol Building, where I performed at a rally regarding island school improvement about a year ago. We have already put in our request for holding a meeting with Representative Macy Hirano. Of all the actions that concerned citizens can take at this time, contacting U.S. Education Committee member John Klein, urging him to co-sponsor H.R. 3027 and leading his committee to do the same, is the single most important, doing so relentlessly until success. Of our children, the children here in the U.S. as well as in the world, uh, it's important for all of us that this They'll get passed. Chairman John Klein makes decisions regarding America's school children, and he is also a member of the U.S. Armed Services. He makes decisions on striking school children and nations, if you will. Parents and child caregivers benefit the children in their care when informed of laws and actions taken by government officials overseeing. America's young. My parents, they did not pay attention to what was going on at the school. And when they found out, it was too late. I was already damaged. Find out if you live in a U.S. paddling state by clicking below the pink highlighted maps on the homepage of the hittingstopshere.com.
19 states still allow children to be hit with these boards, and we're out to stop it. to be a, a good nation, but we treat even the youngest people the best because they are the most important people to us. We are all here fighting for them. Mm -hmm.